And we do begin this morning with the president's speech. CBS News national correspondent Ben Tracy is in Tucson this morning with the latest. What an outpouring last night, Ben. It sure was, Erica. Good morning. You know, as soon as Air Force One landed here in Tucson, the Obamas came right here to the University Medical Center. They met with the six people who are still recovering from the shooting, their families, the first responders. It was about 100 people in all. They also met with Congresswoman Giffords and then made their way to that memorial with a surprise announcement. The president and first lady came to comfort a city still shocked and saddened. There is nothing... I can say that will fill the sudden hole torn in your heart. But it's also one that has found its own inner strength. What defines us is not the differences. It is that we are all together. We are all a family. We are all Americans. After four days of coping with tragedy, the president told the surprised crowd about an incredible moment that happened just after he visited Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords in her hospital room. Gabby opened her eyes for the first time. She knows we are here, she knows we love her, and she knows that we are rooting for her. As the crowd roared, Michelle Obama embraced Gifford's husband, astronaut Mark Kelly. While some have rushed to politicize the tragedy this week, the president called on all Americans to rise above partisan differences. If this tragedy prompts reflection and debate, let's make sure it's worthy of those we have lost. Let's make sure it's not on the usual plane of politics and point scoring and pettiness. He saluted hero Daniel Hernandez, the congresswoman's intern who helped stop her bleeding as the shots rang out. Daniel, I'm sorry, you may deny it, but we've decided you are a hero because you ran through the chaos to minister to your boss and tended to her wounds and help keep her alive. The president didn't stop there. He told the crowd of 26,000 people many stories of bravery from the day of the shooting. We are grateful to the men who tackled the gunman as he stopped to reload. We are grateful for petite Patricia Mache, who wrestled away the killer's ammunition and undoubtedly saved some lives. We are grateful for the doctors and nurses and first responders who worked wonders to heal those who've been hurt. The president's speech, both somber and stirring, ended emotionally as he talked about the shooting's youngest victim, nine-year-old Christina Taylor Green. I want to live up to her expectations. I want our democracy to be as good as Christina imagined it. I want America to be as good as she imagined it. All of us, we should do everything we can do to make sure this country lives up to our children's expectations. Now, Christina's funeral is later this afternoon, and we've been mentioning all week that she was born on September 11, 2001, and today a flag that once flew at Ground Zero will fly at the church today in her honor. Erica? Ben Tracy in Tucson this morning. Ben, thanks. Boy, what a... What an emotional day that will be, and incredible to, that that flag was being brought in for Christina's uh, service today as she's laid to rest.